video was brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. For the best gameplay capture out there, pick up an Elgato capture card today. Links in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbikes here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle United career mode in FIFA 16. And today, we're basically just going to get on with the games. Yeah, there's not really much else to that. We've just got a shitload of games that we're getting through. We've obviously had some pretty good results recently. Again, we've had a hat trick performance from my Jose Perez against PSG in the Champions League. So we're really starting to get our shit together and it's going pretty well at the moment. After starting pretty poorly, I do feel like we're getting back on track. We might not be 100% there yet, but we're definitely doing pretty well. And I'm going to continue again with another sim game in the Capital One Cup. This is the round of 16, so we're getting pretty close toward the business end of this competition. Will we make it? We've already scored a goal. Skim, or, or skim, skim, whatever. It's a 2-1 victory, no injuries, despite every single time that I sim getting a player injured. But this time, it's an, it's an Austin and a Perez uh, goal each, and we win 2-1. What I'm thinking about doing for this episode, guys, and again, it's great to go forward in the Capital One Cup, but what I'm thinking about doing for this episode is only playing the Premier League games. I do want to focus a little bit more on the Premier League. We haven't been amazing in the Premier League. We're still sitting around like mid-table at the moment. Definitely not for defending Premier League champions up around the top four. And even if we don't win the Premier League this season, I won't be totally devastated, but I definitely want to be doing a lot better than what I'm doing right now. Like, take a look at that. Pretty much every single team in the Premier League has played 10 games. We're on 13 points. And we'll take a look at the table more in depth. Top of the Premier League, Aston Villa. As hilarious as that is, that's what we've got. 21 points after 10 games. Chelsea and Manchester United on 20. Everton, who always seem to do quite well, are also fourth at the moment. Man City, Spurs, Stoke, Liverpool, Arsenal. They're all teams above us. Basically, I just want to sort of get my shit together. So I'm focusing on the Premier League. We do have, obviously, another game in the Champions League against Spartak Moscow to play. But I'm probably going to sim that one as well. That is a home game as well. So this is the first game that we're going to play. Again, Premier League match at the Hawthorns against West Bromwich Albion. We'll hope for the best and hopefully get all three points. I mean, they're definitely do they're not doing great in the Premier League. I don't think they're above us. At least I'm pretty confident. But uh, again, it doesn't really take an extremely amazing team to really give us trouble, as it's turned out this season. We've definitely been struggling against teams that we should be beating. So we'll see what sort of a game we get once we get into it. Here we go. Their team is this. They're going with a 4-5-1 formation, if that is uh, correct, or what I think it is. It's basically a normal 4-4-2 formation, except one of the strikers has dropped back to CDM. That doesn't even make sense. What am I talking about? It's a bit of an irregular formation. It's not a formation that I see all too often, to be totally honest, in uh, in uh, career mode. It's just normally the 4-2-3-1 or a 4-4-2 or whatever. I don't see that sort of formation. I don't know if I'm talking out my ass. I probably am, but either way, let's get this underway. Jetro Williams is going to try to take a few on. He does. Ross Barkley there. Good ball played. Dumbia. Across goal. I wasn't even aiming for the near post, but it went, it went straight to Adrian. I was trying to kick it across goal. That didn't really work. All right, fine. We'll, we'll get a corner out of it. Cross is good. Header is... Oh, my God. Don't tell me that was a save. That was unreal. I need someone to get open. Who wants this? Ross Barkley it is. Good touch. Plays in the middle. Perez! In off the post, 1-0. I ended up powering that instead of finessing it. That was a bad decision, but it still worked. But how about the routine from the throw-in? Gives it to Barkley, and then look at Perez in all that space. Just got to get it to him. And thank God there was enough curl on that for it to just sneak in on the post. Because I swear I meant to finesse that, but for some reason I held it down for way too long. Look, that just curls in. But we are in front. 1-0. There we go. They've been given a set piece in the 45th minute. They're not going to go for goal. The ball, the wall's just out. It's just outside the wall. Surely not. Yeah, poor fucking hell. They have to pull out the save from Buddy Butlin. Insane work from Gardner. I just, if the wall's outside the box, in my mind, there's no way they can score. He gets a shot on target. Butlin's got to react. Fuck, he's got three players there. We will only get one shot at this. Only get one chance. Arnautovic runs around. Slide tackle that. He's a foul. Yeah, it is. We're going to get a set piece in the 45th. Musa Sissoko, you're the one that's going to get this, mate. All right, let's see if we can just get our angles right. And we should have this. I think that's about it. Maybe. Ye no, it's wide. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Maybe I should have put more power on it. I thought for sure. I thought we had the angle. I thought we had the angles. Well, you're just going to... Oh, man, I've not been great with my free kicks recently, but... 1-1, one, one, or 1-0, one should, should I say? It should be 2-1. It should be... What is the score? I don't fucking know. It should be 2-0, but it's 1-0. If I had put enough power on that, it would have been a goal. It... Ah, it's very disappointing. Well, oh, this is nice. Insane work. Bang. Ross Barkley's put it wide. 
Oh, he's just got by. Just got past. I wanted to hit that ball a bit further. Perez. Oh, Gamboa made the tackle. In the middle. Oh, my God! Fucking Evans! That is insane. That ball got past way too further ahead. Or way too ahead of uh, whoever it was who was trailing. I don't even know who was trailing. Son of a bitch. But now they're on an attack. Cut off by Walker. Armstrong, just keep running. Just go. Go, Armstrong. Get in. There he is. There he is. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I just got caught in two minds there. I was thinking about going for the sweaty pass. I was originally going to go for the sweaty pass. Then I said, nah, fuck it. Just shoot. They're going to get a goal here. They're going to fucking get a goal here. No, that's a bad cross. All right. Oh, it's just basketball city in this game. Back and forth. Both teams just keep fucking up with possession. I am so over it. I'm so over being so inefficient with my attacks. I'm fucking like Conor McGregor. I'm inefficient. I don't fucking believe this. We win the game. It's 1-0, but I'm like, I had a free kick in the 45th minute that I should have scored. I had all those chances right toward the end that I should have scored. I can't fucking score in this game. And then there are just some blatant passes that are just not going where I'm trying to get them to. Whether it be passing the wrong player, picking out the wrong player, or just the simplest of passes that just don't fucking go where they want to go or where they should go. It's just, it's, it's infuriating, it's, it's confusing the fuck out of me, but it's only a 1-0 win. I have just never had these problems before in FIFA where I've just been this fucking woeful on offense. I have never had this sort of a problem before. I just don't fuck these chances up normally. This just doesn't happen. I just keep ruining so many good chances. Sometimes I stick my hand up and go, well, I made a poor decision or I was indecisive. And then there are times where I'm like, how didn't we score? How does the pass not work? How does the attack fail? So many times. It's, it's almost like you've absolutely got to be perfect when it comes down to legendary difficulty. I can't remember the last time I actually won a game by like more than two goals. I honestly can't do, I can't remember. It's just drive, it's driving me nuts, but still. And Bemba goes up by a bit, Townsend by a bit. Hydara is so close to going to 77. I reckon in the next episode as well, I'm probably going to switch up who gets the drills because it's been, it's been Townsend, it's been Hydara, and it's been in Bemba for a while. We also get the Germany job, but again, it's just international management is not really a thing I'm looking to do. Netherlands as well, Russia as well. I'm just not really into it. I might pick it up at one point, but maybe not now. Maybe not when I'm 100% focusing on trying to fucking sort my shit out with Newcastle. But still, we have one game, another game that we're going to sim, because it's not Premier League, a Champions League game. We're currently top of our group right now, which is sensational. Spartak Moscow. If we can get a result here at home, we should hopefully keep our spot. And even if we're not on top of the group, I mean, even if we're just in the top two, that's all it takes, isn't it? But still, they've had some good results. They recently played Manchester United and won. But we skip here. 3-1 victory. No injuries. A hat-trick for Charlie Austin. That'd be his second or maybe even his third of the entire series. He's been that good. But there we go. But of course, it's a sim game. We may not have got the injury in the simulated game, but we get this. A training injury. Unfortunately, Mangala has suffered another MCL. That's like the second or third one that we've had this season. That's a reoccurring injury, which is a big fucking problem for us, because now Mangala's out for two months as well. If I'm correct, that's almost the exact injury that uh, Antoine Griezmann got, and you fucking better believe it. How do we keep getting the same injury? It's absolute fucking bullshit. You can't sim a game and not get injured. I know that was a training injury, but it happened right after a sim game. It was incredible. There's just too many fucking injuries in this game. There are. You literally get about three every single month. Like, fuck off. At least we get Antoine Griezmann back from his injury, but I don't know if I'm going to bring him back in for the Sunderland game. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's way too tired and fresh from injury. I'm going to have to swap him. But this is the team that I'm going with for the Premier League Tyneweir Derby. It's back again, of course. Sunderland got relegated in the first season in this Newcastle United career mode series, and they've spent a little bit of time in the championship, come back up, and now it's another Tyneweir Derby. It is on. We have a lot of players that are a little bit tired, things like guys like Perez, Barkley, Asquez, Arnautovic. I'll have to monitor those guys, but still, that is the team. I'd love to be playing Griezmann, but he's just not fit enough. He, I had no point in me playing him, so yeah, one more game until we see him back. But this is it. Another time we're Derby. It's been a while, but here we go. I wonder how much the Sunderland team has changed compared to ours. We've obviously had a very, very different... We've obviously got a very, very different team compared to the last time we're Derby, I would imagine anyway. Guys like Arnautovic, Barkley, Asquez, and so many others. But that's what they're going with. A five at the back formation, I remember that. Fernando's actually in the team now. Barini. Fletcher, who've they got on the bench? They've got Jermaine Lynch, Danny Graham's there still. Jermaine Defoe would be about 35 years of age. Jesus, they've still got a pretty 
relatively similar team, but there are definitely some new faces. But they will get us kicked off the first time we derby in over a season. Here we go. Oh, that's bad. That is horrible. Iose. Oh, he hits the post. Went for the near post. Couldn't get it. We actually got a corner from it. Something tells me it might have been saved. I don't think it was blocked. Cross. Punched away by Pantillamon. Walker. Bang. Oh, my God. I didn't think I put that much power on it. Wow. Do we have time for an attack? I don't think we do. Billums, he's going to have to run. Doombia, you've got to start running ahead. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Little move, can he? No, he can't pull it off. All right, surely that's a corner. There's no way. Yes. Maybe we'll just go ahead and score from a corner. Come on, can we get it? Decent? No, that's not a decent delivery at all. That's fucking shit house. Pantillamon punches. Walker takes it down. Have a shot. Why the fuck not? Wow, Walker. I keep getting all these chances from the corner. After it's cleared, it goes straight to Walker. And he basically has all this space to let one fly. He's not been able to score the as many great goals for me. He's just scored the one, I think. But still, it is nil-nil in this half. And in this game, it just has not really had as many chances as in the previous game. Do the simple shit. Or can we? Bang. What a save by Pantillamon. Well, there it is. Unoutsovic. This is it. This could be it, maybe. Up the middle. Arnautovic, in the middle. Where were you running? You were running toward the goal, and then you just make it turn away. Fuck. Nah, I think that's it. Two minutes to stop his time. They're just passing it around. Whacking it up. There, nah, there it is. I think that, that's it. Time's up. Jermaine Lenz is on it. He's unfucking catchable apparently, as it turns out. Literally, he runs past the entire defense. And that's half. That's not even half time. That's full time. Nil-nil is the score. No goals in this time weird derby. I think you can thank Sunderland for that. Coming in with their five at the back formation. They didn't bother attacking toward the final eight stages of this game. So, that's that. A nil-nil time weird derby. Sunderland, to their credit, ended up having six shots. However, none of them were on target. For a team that didn't really attack that much to still get off six shots. It's still funny that they only got... They had literally had no shots on target. But anyway... Uh, we didn't have that many either to be compared with uh, to, in comparison. We only had seven or eight shots, but we definitely had more than zero on target. It's it's insane. There, there were a few good saves, but in the end, we didn't come up with that 100% clear-cut scoring chance, unfortunately. And uh, even if we did, we probably butchered it, considering how I've been going about it uh, recently. It's not been great. More player training now. There's a chance Haidara might go up to a 77. He'd need to get a fucking perfect result in this training drill. He doesn't get it. We're looking at the slide tackle. It's so close to going up to an 83. But the next game that we have to play is two weeks away, which is sensational. We're going to get an absolutely brilliant break in. And again, it means we get to play train these guys again. So, Hydara surely is going up to a 77 right here, right now. Let's take a look. You betcha. That's what I'm talking about. He goes up in his stand tackle. We see a little bit more growth with Townsend as well, but it's a 77 overall. Our next game will be against Manchester City, if I'm not mistaken, and there they are. Of course, the next game's either going to be maybe a Champions League game. I think it is, yeah, and it's probably going to be against uh, PSG, I believe. That'll be the first game in the next episode, but I just saw we have another injury. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. Player injured. Probably from uh, the uh, international break, if I can tell. And it is Charlie Austin who's out for four months. I am fucking done with this. Like, there's so many injuries. So much more bullshit in this career mode compared to 15, 14, 13. More injuries. Unresponsive fucking controls. Dumb AI. You can't get a fucking break. They won't give it to you. It's ridiculous. But now a four-month injury to go along with the other two-month injuries that we had to Antoine Griezmann and uh, the one that's just got it recently, I believe. Who is it? Mangala. It's fucking unbelievable. And now we've got to do without Austin, who isn't a starting 11 striker, but not anymore anyway, but he still pops up and, and scores goals and gets assists. He does so well for his sort of an overall compared to everyone else, but he will be now be missed for almost the rest of the season. We are going to get him back. I know we will before the end of this season, so you will see a little bit more of Charlie Austin, but fuck, that's annoying. That's really, really annoying. Oh well, he's uh, he's done. At least we're going to have to go with these two from now on. It's going to be Iose Perez and Antoine Griezmann, who's finally fully fit, recovered from his injury, and he squares up against Manchester City. This is going to be sensational. The uh, midfield's the same. The defense is the same, except for Lachelle's. Again, Mangala injured. He won't be able to face his former team. So we're going to go with Lachelle's instead of Rudiger, who's a bit tired. And that's that. That's the team that we're going with. Final game of this episode. Here we go. But Manchester City, they look like this. 4-2-3-1 formation with guys like uh, Edison Cavani. Tony Cruz is in there as well. Marcelo's in there. Jeez, they're just raided. 
Fucking Real Madrid, that's insane. They've got Manu Garcia in there as well, who I know is a youth player. A mix of new players, new transfers, and then young players that have shot up as well. I'm interested to see how Manu, uh, Manu Garcia goes, but I'm also very interested to see how Antoine Griezmann goes back from injury. Oh, what a ball. What a fuck! Holy shit! What a fucking cross! Cavani sticks it, sticks out a foot, comes off the crossbar, bounces right back to him, and just instinctively puts it right back in. How many goals do we concede like that, though? Look at that shit. Straight off the bar and right back to him. Like, it could have gone anywhere else. No, it went right back to Cavani and he stuck it right back in. Incredible. This is becoming a little bit concerning. They're fucking ridiculous. They're tearing me up. Some of this passing is just ridiculous. And like sometimes my defense is a little bit concerning, like how all of my defenders seem to only want to defend one half of the pitch, one side of the pitch, leaving out and a completely exposed left-hand side or whatever. And they just thread it through like three of my defenders, perfectly in for Yaya Torre. And obviously he has all the time in the world. Oh, we went, yeah, no, that's what I thought. We went too far back. Fuck, no, that's not what we wanted. Oh, we ruined the attack because we go too far back to the... F too far toward the halfway line. Well, that's... What a waste. We had one last chance of at least maybe going to half time with at least just down by a goal. But no, we're down by the two. It is a 2-0 Man City lead. What a run. What a run this is from Barkley. Ross Barkley, bang. Oh, how did that one go wide? Ross Barkley, come on, man. Nice. Perez. Perez, no, fuck, he took a tie, couldn't even get the shot off. Like, we're, in, we're getting inside the box, now we're not even getting shots off. What's the, what is the, th what am I missing? Oh, here we go. No, get tackled there. Come on, I fucking so badly want to get a goal. Sterling out muscles Perez, and that will absolutely put the icing on the cake. The worst game, it's like I didn't even play. Didn't come close. To getting a goal today. We just let two in and did fuck all apart from that. That was the most challenging game I have played maybe in this series. Just stuck, just stuck in the mud. No chance of scoring. Didn't come close. You know, Ross Barkley had a couple of shots from outside of the box, a couple of prayers, but they were either off target or just too close to the keeper. And that's that. It's a 2-0 loss and it did not go, it has just not gone down well at all. I can imagine you guys have all had a game at one point where 90 minutes and you've done literally been able to accomplish fucking nothing. You've barely been able to get into the other team's half, or not even the other team's half, but the other team's third in their box, barely taking any shots. That was me in that game. That was the most oh awful game, seriously. I mean, we just let the two in, and then after that, they almost just went quiet. They defended for the rest of the second half. That was the most boring second half ever. I just kept trying and kept fucking getting intercepted, it was awful. Oh, it's just a typical FIFA 16, FIFA, uh, FIFA 16, just bullshit, awful game. Not necessarily bullshit, but just, you know, like not fun, D just not fun. I've just not been able to move the ball anywhere, not been able to get it advanced, not being able to further my attacks or anything. It's just, oh, very, very frustrating. Well, this series, or should I say this season so far has been very irregular. It's been super inconsistent. We've been either just gone into hiding, or should I say taking a hiding, should I say, and just not being able to win games, not being able to play well, it's been very poor. And then sometimes we play very, very well, and we are able to win a couple of games in a row. It's just, it's a bizarre, it's a bizarre season so far. But uh, I'm just crying out for a bit of consistent play here. A couple of episodes in a row where we just perform very well. But so far it hasn't happened, but that's going to do it for this episode. The next episode, we're going to kick it off with a game against PSG, which will be very exciting. Can't wait for that. But until that game and until that episode, thanks for watching. My name's Masterbucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, check out the TMB store if you want to have a look at some of this Masterbucks merchandise. And until the next time, guys, my name's Masterbucks, and have a good one. Bye-bye.